Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, Pavan University. So today let's talk about the stance. Now what is the stance? Stance in any sports, it balances you. So when you do a pickleball stance, you want to make sure. So the stance is about keeping your legs wider and don't be too stiff like a sumo wrestle. You want to be light on your feet a little bit, but don't keep bouncing too much. So we're going to talk about stancing again. So we do about ding shot, ding shot, nice and easy. Again, you don't want to move too much. You can just stay square footed. If the ball goes to your backhand side, so you can lean a little bit to your left and keep that, or lean a little bit to your right, keep that. You don't want to move too much. You can just stay right here. Make sure the racket stays in front of you at your shoulder height, right here. So you can drop it down there. It is always better to keep your racket to your shoulder height. Your left hand stays up with it, okay? That's the stance number one. Don't turn sideways too much to hit a, hit a ding shot because when you turn sideways, when you turn sideways, now the ball goes to your backhand, then you can't turn that quickly. So it's better to stay right here. So that's your ding shot stance. So how about the volley now? In the volley, you want to make sure, again, your left hand and your right hand stays up here. Now, why is that? So the stance is about keeping your legs wider and don't be too stiff like a sumo wrestle. You want to be light on your feet a little bit, but don't keep bouncing too much. So we're going to talk about stancing again. So we do about ding shot, ding shot, nice and easy. Again, you don't want to move too much. You can just stay square footed. If the ball goes to your backhand side, so you can lean a little bit to your left and keep that, or lean a little bit to your right, keep that. You don't want to move too much. You can just stay right here. Make sure the racket stays in front of you at your shoulder height, right here. So you can drop it down there. It is always better to keep your racket to your shoulder height, your left hand stays up with it, okay? That's the stance number one. Don't turn sideways too much to hit a, hit a ding shot, because when you turn sideways, when you turn sideways, now the ball goes to your backhand, then you can't turn that quickly. So it's better to stay right here. So that's your ding shot stance. So how about the volley? How about the volley stance? You want to keep your left hand and your right hand straight up there. The idea, because you want to make sure the ball has been taken out of the air, before he starts dropping low. Ball ko aage se hi uda, uh, uh, contact karna hai. Niche girega, to aapko ball ucha jayega, wo attack karega. Right, so you want to, right here, okay? Right in front, as much as you can, as much as you can reach, you can reach. Okay, right there, good. Right, good, right there. Good, so that's your stance for the Bali stance, okay? If you're doing this, the furthest you can reach, jitna reach ho sakta hai, kar sakte ho. If the ball drop karega, to usko drop karne do. you can enter the kitchen and make that shot. Ready? Here we go. Okay? You can enter the kitchen, you get back in a position right away. Okay? Enter the kitchen if you want to. Then you can give me, give me volley again. Volley. Right? Again, you're right there. And then once in a while, print on, on, on the kitchen map. Then you can come again right there. Always want to be ready. Right up there. Right there. Right there. Now, we as the tennis players, we always make a volley like a punch volley. In a pickleball, when you have this stance, okay, when you have this stance, you have this kind of swinging, kind of top spin volley. You want to take the ball high and you roll your wrist a little bit. Okay. If the ball is low, you roll, good get, good get, right, right. So that's the stance. You want to make sure you stay loose and limber, kind of don't get too stiff on it. So that's my tip. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel and share the video and hit the like button. Hit the bell notification so you get notified when I upload a new video. Once again, I appreciate your kind help.